Why does Saturn have rings? What are the different types of clouds? How does an octopus swim? Why does a tiger have stripes? How do flowers grow? Tell me why. The video encyclopedia is a reference work that's designed to show the answers to questions that young people ask. All materials used in this work are based upon the best-selling book series by Arkady Lyoko. What are prehistoric animals? Life began in the sea about three and a half billion years ago. This glowing sphere represents a crucial step in the development of life on our planet. The point at which single-celled organisms began to come together into more complex, multicellular life forms. For the preceding three billion years, all life was single-celled. Sea pens, jellyfish, and worm-like creatures were among the earliest multicellular organisms for which fossil evidence exists. Impressions of these and other soft-bodied animals were discovered in southern Australia. They constitute the oldest animal community on record. Further adaptation to the undersea environment resulted in the evolution of hard body parts such as shells and skeletons. The hard parts of creatures, such as the tube-like sponges shown here, become fossilized and more readily than the impression or tracks of soft-bodied creatures, they help form the basis for the study of evolution today. Marine invertebrates increase dramatically in abundance and diversity. The trilobites, the cone-shaped tentacled cephalopods, and the eight-legged sea scorpion eventually became extinct. But they have living relatives today, among them the octopus, squid, and horseshoe crab. One of the most ferocious predators of this time was the 10-foot Eurypterid, which was armed with huge claws. Other invertebrates in this group are some horned coral, finger-like bryozoans, more brachiopods and trilobites, and a large snail. Fish were the first true vertebrates, animals with a backbone. The earliest fish were jawless, but they were supplanted eventually by predaceous forms, such as the giant armored Denichthys. While the sea teemed with life, the land was still barren. The first sign of change was a greenness at the water's edge as minute leafless plants gradually emerged from the sea and began to colonize the coastlines. With the establishment of plant life, invertebrates began to invade the land. The scorpion was one of the earliest pioneers. About 370 million years ago, the Eusthenopteron was a lobed fin fish that could walk from pool to pool. The Ixotego was among the first amphibians, a new group of vertebrates that was at home both on land and in water. Amphibians ruled the land for about 100 million years. Today, they're represented almost entirely by frogs, toads, and salamanders. Reptiles, the first vertebrates to be independent of water, represented a great breakthrough in evolution. Their scaly hides prevented desiccation, and their hard-shelled eggs encased a miniature liquid environment. Unlike amphibian eggs, reptilian eggs did not have to be deposited in water. Reptiles, like Paleotherius, now could exploit the rich varieties of habitats on the land. The cockroach was a very early insect. Iriops was a giant amphibian. The Cynodthus and Dimenatron represent branches of reptiles that gave rise to mammals. Animals such as these died out as dinosaurs came to dominate the land. The largest land animals in history Dinosaurs were diverse and abundant for some 140 million years. Dinosaurs didn't appear until 200 million years ago. What we know about dinosaurs has been captured in fossils of their footprints and bones that have been found all over the world. The word dinosaur comes from the ancient Greek. It means terrible lizard. Sir Richard Owen gave the great creatures that name in 1842. He realized that these ancient beasts had a strange combination of characteristics. 
By studying their bones, he understood that study was needed to understand these amazing creatures. Dinosaurs weren't just big lizards, their species were very different, suited to different parts of the world and different appetites. The pterodactyl was a bony bird-like creature. The Tyrannosaurus rex was a huge meat eater with powerful legs and tiny little arms. The Triceratops had a snout with a mammoth set of pincers that let it crunch through thick branches. The Brontosaurus was another type of dinosaur. Its name meant Thunder Lizard. It was thought that the earth must have groaned under its passing weight. The Brontosaurus had a small head at the end of a very long neck. The body was huge and the tail was very long. It is believed that these animals weighed 30 to 40 tons. The Brontosaurus lived in water. This way it was protected against huge flesh-eating rivals. It nibbled at the vegetation in the water or on the banks of lakes or rivers. The woolly mammoth was a large furry relative of today's elephant. Many of the ancient animals had characteristics that are easily identified in today's animals. It's easy to see how they've changed through the years. These huge animals once roamed the earth long before man. The dinosaurs either flew through the air, stomped through the great forests, or swam in the sea. Even though they're gone now, scientists are able to recreate their lifestyles and eating habits through their remains that we have today. When the Ice Age came, animals from the Arctic migrated south in front of the glaciers. Native animals now found in North America are merely a remnant of the many varieties of beasts known to have lived before the Ice Age. No one knows just what happened to the dinosaurs. Scientists have many theories, but man wasn't around to leave a history of why these fantastic animals disappeared from the Earth. Everything we've learned about dinosaurs came from fossils, which are the remains that these creatures left in the earth. The most common fossils are petrified remains of what were the hard parts of their bodies, bones, teeth, and claws. Sometimes petrified tendons and skin have been found. Fossils have also been trails or footprints that were made in wet sand or mud that hardened into stone over the ages. What is a reptile? In the animal kingdom, reptiles rank between the amphibians and the birds. All reptiles are cold-blooded, creeping animals with backbones. They are distinguished mainly by their lungs and their skin. The reptiles are divided into four main groups, the turtles, the crocodilians, the lizards, and the snakes. The first reptiles walked on the earth about 300 million years ago. They looked like amphibians, but their eggs could hatch on land. The young had lungs and legs and could breathe air. They walked on damp ground in forests and probably fed on insects. Some looked like lizards and some like turtles. There were reptiles with short tails, thick legs and large heads. Millions of years ago, many of the ancient types of reptiles became extinct. What are the largest reptiles? Alligators and crocodiles are the largest living reptiles, and one species grows to a length of 23 feet. Alligators and crocodiles belong to the same family and are similar in habits and appearance. Both spend much of their time in the water, lying with their nostrils, eyes, and part of their back showing. Their young are hatched from oval white eggs. The mother lays from 20 to 90 of these eggs on land in a nest of vegetable refuse and leaves them there to be hatched by the heat of the sun. The mother waits nearby and helps her offspring crawl out of the refuse. Both are able to emit a loud call or bellow. Alligators have a broad, flat head, are heavy and not very active. They're still primitive in intelligence. They have a natural fear of very little, including man. They will not go out of their way to attack man unless experience has shown them that man is an easy prey. Alligators prefer to hunt in the water. If a human is attacked, it will be because they are swimming slowly and lazily near an alligator. When an alligator attacks, it takes hold of its victim and drags it to an underground nest. Then, after a few days, it enjoys its meal and leisure. Alligators are only found in the warmer parts of America and China. Crocodiles are active, light, and have a narrow pointed head. 
They kill more people than any other animal with the possible exception of the cobra. The Africa and saltwater crocodile are real man-eaters. Some of them will not only attack anyone who comes near them, they will come up on land in pursuit of their victim, grab them, and carry them back to the water to drown. Crocodiles are found in Africa, Asia, Australia, and America. What are snakes? Snakes are long, slender animals that have no legs. They are reptiles. Snakes are carnivorous and eat animals. Snakes have slender, needle-like teeth with which they can catch their prey and pull it into their mouth. Their jaws are loosely attached to the other bones of the skull. They are edged with teeth, and most snakes also have two rows of teeth in the roof of their mouth. A snake eats by pushing one jaw over the food, while the teeth in the rest of the jaw hold the prey. Then another jawbone is pushed over the food. In this way, the food is pulled down into the throat of the snake. Snakes are particular about what they eat, and different kinds of snakes have different diets. Pythons eat animals that are as large as deer and leopards. Some tiny blind snakes eat only termites. Some snakes eat other snakes and rodents. All snakes have a large amount of saliva that helps them swallow and digest prey. One of the saliva glands produces a substance that is poisonous to the snake's prey. This substance is the snake's venom. Between the head and the tail of the snake is a long and complicated body. A snake has a backbone and a digestive system, a liver, a heart, and all the other muscles, glands, and organs that are found in most backboned animals. A snake can crawl over stones, up trees, and glide through holes, even though it has no legs. On the underside of the snake there are broad scales. These are moved forward in such a way that the rear edge of each scale pushes against something in the ground. When the scales are pushed against these rough and irregular spots in the ground, the whole snake moves forward. Snakes have a great number of ribs. The amount varies with the different species. Each rib is attached to a section of a backbone. Each section of the backbone is joined to the next one in a way that makes the backbone very flexible. The tips of each pair of ribs are attached with muscles to the broad scales on the underside of the snake. The snake can move each scale on its underside independently. The legs of the snake are really its ribs, and the feet are the scales. When the snake wants to make speed, it throws its body into an S-shaped curve. This curve pushes against anything it touches, and the snake glides forward swiftly. Many species of snakes, including rattlesnakes, copperheads, water snakes, and garter snakes, give birth to living young. Some snakes have been known to have 75 babies at a time. Bull snakes are among those snakes who lay eggs. They deposit them in hidden places, under a rock or a log, or in hollow stumps. The shell of a snake's egg is tough and has a leathery quality. The snake that lays the most eggs is probably the python. One of these snakes in India laid 107 eggs at a time. The eggs are hatched by the heat of the sun or by decaying vegetable matter, which gives off a natural heat. In some cases, the snake guards the eggs by coiling about them. All young snakes are able to care for themselves from the moment of birth or hatching. Snakes shed their skins several times a year. When they do this, the film covering the eyes is cast off too. During the process of shedding, the skin is turned inside out. The snake removes the skin by rubbing against rough surfaces. The skin of a snake is important to them because a snake's skin reflects light. The smooth appearance of the scales often give the appearance that the skin is slimy. This is not true. It's rather dry to the touch and rough in the spots where the scales overlap. Because of the scales, the snake is able to move gracefully and quickly. Since snakes are cold-blooded, their bodies react to their surroundings. If a snake has been lying in a shaded area, its skin might feel cool. If a snake has just come from the water, it might feel cool and wet. What is the largest snake in the world? The largest known snake is the Regal Python, which may have a length of 33 to 35 feet. 
It is found in the Malay Peninsula, Burma, Indochina, and the Philippine Islands. The king cobra reaches a maximum length of 18 feet. In the United States, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake grows to a length of about 7 feet. The black chicken snake, bull snake, and gopher snake grow to a maximum length of about 8 feet. The longest poisonous snake is the king cobra, and the heaviest poisonous snake is the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. What kind of senses does a snake have? Most snakes have only one lung. There is more room in the slender body for other internal organs. Pythons have two lungs, though. Snakes have internal ears. They are sensitive to vibrations through the ground. Most snakes can see very well. They notice their prey more by movement than by shape or color. Snakes have a good sense of smell and can recognize prey, enemies, and each other by odors. A snake can pick up chemical particles from the air, from the ground, or from some other animal or object with the tips of its long forked tongue. The snake then thrusts these tips into a pair of openings in the roof of its mouth. These openings contain some highly sensitive nerve cells. With these cells, the snake can identify the chemical particles as food, enemy, friend, or whatever. Snakes can sense a prey animal that is a little warmer or a little colder than its surroundings. This is a heat sense that enables snakes to locate and strike a prey in the dark without ever seeing it. What is an asp? An asp belongs to a family of snakes called vipers, which include the deadliest poisonous snakes in the world. All vipers have thick bodies and flat triangular heads. Their poison fangs, which are located in their upper jaws, are really very long teeth. There is a tube in these teeth which connects to the poison sacs located just behind the eyes. Vipers are divided into two families. One family consists of the true vipers. They are found only in Europe and parts of Africa. The other family consists of the pit vipers, which are found in the Western Hemisphere and some parts of Asia. When a snake wants to bite, it contracts the muscles of the poison sacs and the poison flows out through the fangs into the open wound which the snake has made by its bite. In a medium-sized snake, as much as half a teaspoon of this poison can be put into the victim at one time. Removing a snake's fangs does no good because new fangs are always developing behind the old fangs. Rattlesnakes are pit vipers because of the two large pits on their heads. These pits are sensitive to the slightest change in temperature. They enable a viper to detect the presence of a warm-blooded animal even in the dark. Their fangs are very long and set on a very short upper jawbone that can rotate. When a viper closes its mouth, the jawbone is rotated so that the fang lies lengthwise in the mouth and the mouth can close. When the mouth is opened for a strike, the jawbone is turned forward, bringing the fang at right angles to the throat. The venom affects blood cells and blood vessels. It may cause great swelling and bleeding. Why are rattlesnakes called rattlesnakes? All rattlesnakes have rattles at the tips of their tails. They are made up of dry, horny rings of skin that lock loosely onto one another. When the snake shakes its tail, these horny pieces of skin rub against one another. This results in a rasping or buzzing sound. The rattle also warns other animals away. When a rattlesnake does rattle, it's usually because it has become frightened. 95% of the time, this snake gives no warning at all before it strikes. A new rattle is formed on the snake's tail each time it sheds its skin, which is two to four times a year. Even newborn rattlesnakes have a button rattle on their tails and their fangs are ready to use. What is the deadliest snake? Experts call the king cobra the world's deadliest snake. Its venom is very powerful and it does not hesitate to attack. There have been cases of people dying in less than one hour after being bitten by a king cobra. Snakes are deaf, but they can pick up vibrations with great sensitivity, even when they lie in a basket. If there are any vibrations in the ground near them, they notice them and respond. Snake charmers just put on shows to make people believe that their music is making the snake perform. What the charmer does is tap the basket or stamp on the ground, pretending he's merely keeping time to the music. The snake reacts to the vibration. 
The snake charmer also moves his body constantly, and the snake dances because of the movements that the man makes. What the snake is doing is keeping its eyes fixed on the man, and as the man moves, he moves, in order to keep him right before its eyes. What are lizards? There are more than 2,500 different kinds of lizards. Lizards are closely related to snakes and are cold-blooded reptiles with scaly skins. Their bodies are divided into three distinct parts, head, trunk, and tail. They have four legs. Lizards are able to break off their tails. This enables a lizard to escape while the enemy stops to chew it up. Later, the lizard grows a new tail. Most lizards feed on insects, but a few of the larger species feed on birds and small animals. Lizards are found all over the world except in the Arctic regions. Lizards, which live among grass or trees, are brightly colored. Those which live in the desert are colored dull gray or brown to match the sand. Most lizards eat insects that they catch with their tongues or snap out of the air. They usually eat food that can be swallowed whole. Lizards have teeth that help hold their food, but they rarely use these teeth to bite off food. The horned lizard usually eats ants. Other lizards eat plants and fruit. Most lizards are hatched from eggs, though many are born alive. The eggs are buried in the soil or hidden in decaying logs. The female guards the eggs against animals that might feed on them. The young have a special egg tooth, which grows up from the tip of the upper jaw. The tooth is used to cut through the eggshell at the time of hatching. Then the tooth disappears. A tutora is the sole survivor of an ancient order of reptiles, the Ronchocephalia. Its lizard-like appearance hides many primitive structural features. Its wise expression is always deceptive because its brain is scarcely larger than a pea. What is the difference between a tortoise, turtle, and terrapin? Tortoises, turtles, and terrapins all belong to a family of four-legged reptiles that have hard outer shells, scaly skins, and horny beaks. A tortoise is a land reptile, a turtle is a sea reptile, and a terrapin is a freshwater reptile. Turtles are covered with shells that are made up of a bony box covered with horny plates or with soft skin. These shells are divided into two parts. One part covers the back and the other covers the under part of the turtle's body. Through the openings between the two parts, the turtle can thrust out its head, neck, tail, and legs. They all breathe air through lungs. Turtles have a well-developed sense of sight, taste, and touch, but their hearing is poor. Females are able to make a hissing sound. The male turtle gives a kind of grunt. The largest of all living turtles is the leatherback, which can weigh about 1,000 pounds. The biggest North American turtle is the alligator snapping turtle, and this one can weigh up to 150 pounds. Turtles can live for 200 years or more. The ones who live in temperate climates go to sleep during the winter months. Many turtles can go without food and sleep away the time from October until March. Water turtles bury themselves on the bottom of ponds. Land turtles hide in the ground. Turtles have lungs and breathe air. Their ribs are firmly fixed to their hard shells. Turtles fill their lungs in a different way. A turtle has two special sets of belly muscles. One set pulls the other body organs away from the lungs. Then a second set of muscles pulls the organs against the lungs, forcing the air out. One deep breath may last a sea or land turtle several hours. Some freshwater turtles remain underwater for several days. They can do this because they use very little air while lying still on the bottom. The terrapin eats insects, tadpoles, and fish. The box turtle wanders through the woods in search of berries and fungi. Gopher turtles eat fruit and vegetation. What are amphibians? Amphibian is a word that comes from the Greek and means living a double life. Most amphibians spend the early part of their lives in the water and the latter part on land. 
There are three types of amphibians, frogs and toads, the salamanders, and the Sicilians. Moots, efs, and mud puppies are salamanders. A frog is an amphibian. The adult frog has lungs, but it does not breathe air into them as we do. It sucks air through two nostrils, at the same time lowering its throat. Then, the nostrils are closed, and the frog lifts its throat and pushes the air into its lungs. About 17 different kinds of frogs live in the United States. The most common species are the bullfrog, the leopard frog, and the wood frog. Little tree frogs are no more than one inch in length. Leopard frogs are about two to four inches long. Bullfrogs are the giants and are eight inches long and have legs 10 inches long. A fully developed bullfrog is usually dark green or brown in color so that it can scarcely be seen on a muddy bank or among weeds. Frogs use their eyes to swallow food. Frogs catch their prey with sticky tongues. When an insect sticks to the tongue, it is folded back into the mouth. The large bulging eyes of the frog are separated from the mouth cavity by only a thin skin. When closed, they bulge inward. The frog closes its eyes when it has an insect in its mouth and the inner bulging helps to push the food down its throat. Only male frogs croak and they do it to attract the female. A frog makes that croaking sound by inhaling, closing his nostrils and mouth and forcing the air back and forth between the mouth and lungs. The sound is produced when the air passes over the vocal cords and causes them to vibrate. A wide range of subjects are available in this series now. Let's look at some of the questions that are covered in the Tell Me Why programs. Weather. A tornado is a special kind of cyclone. It arises when conditions that cause ordinary thunderstorms are unusually violent. There is an updraft of air. There are winds blowing at... Flowers. A flower has a fragrance when certain essential oils are found in the petals. These oils are produced by the plant as part of its growing process. Space. Distances to the stars are so great that a unit for measuring distances was worked out. It's called a light year, and it is the distance that light travels in one year. Water. Water is a simple compound of two gases. Hydrogen, a very light gas, and oxygen, a heavier active gas. When hydrogen is burned in oxygen, water is formed. Gems. When minerals are better, rarer, clearer, or more crystalline than others, they are called gems. Gems are the most prized and famous of all minerals. Diamonds, emeralds, rubies, and sapphires stand out as the true gems. Ask for the additional volumes by subject from your dealer. They're available now. episode of Tell Me Why, and here are some of the other titles available in this award-winning series.
these videos have a suggested retail price of only $14.95 and are available in stores everywhere. Ask for them by name from Prism Entertainment. Yeah, 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 yeah.